We're taking action today for people who are trying to cope with a collapsed retaining wall. They say it's causing their backyards to fall apart. Let's go live now to 7 Action News reporter Amira David taking steps to help them out. Amira? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This resident that you're about to meet, he's been dealing with this issue for over two decades now. He's tried everything, but to no avail, he's had no success, and that's why he wrote into us for help. As you can see, the walls falling in, there's cracks. Uh, Everything's collapsing into the yard. It's a problem. Keith Rowley tells us he's been trying to resolve for 23 years now. A retaining wall that's falling and slowly wreaking havoc on his backyard. Because of the shifting, I had a two and a half car garage here 23 years ago, and that came falling and crashing in. If a retaining wall shifts, so does the dirt that locks in the ground's foundation. All the concrete just buckled up, cracked, and eventually the structure of the building fell with it too. After living for two decades with no garage, Rowley says he finally has another one in the works. But without a secure retaining wall, he's now learning it's a project that'll put him in debt. I have to spend another $15,000 to put piers in here to hold this structure up. On top of the cost, there's also this to contend with. Trees and weeds growing out of the wall now blocking up a shared sewer, and Rowley isn't alone. Just a couple of doors down, we meet Richard and Barbara Fortin. Even though I have shrubs holding the fence up, the water's still running the dirt away. There's nothing to stop. It. The result, a backyard with a clothing line leaning in and a brick-like patio now losing its structure. It's the same thing. Oh, we'll take care of it. Well. Is it taking care? Technically, the retaining wall is the responsibility of the property in which it sits on. But if the homeowner fails to pay, then it falls on the city to take action. That took us to Lincoln Park City Hall. We couldn't reach anyone in person, but after a phone conversation, the city tells us they are stepping up the pressure, telling us the owner was sent a 10-day notice regarding the outstanding violations. If the owner fails to bring the property into compliance, that owner will be given a citation that will require a hearing in municipal court. All I want is somebody to get over here and, and solve this issue. I mean, simple as that. Simple as that. And in addition to that 10 day notice, we can happily report that the Department of Public Services also went out to the house to check out that sewer issue and how it's blocked up. They say they're going to see to it that that gets cleared and fixed. They expect this entire issue to be resolved over the next couple of months. We're going to stay on top of them and make sure that they do. And of course, bring you the updates on that. But before I go, I do want to give you a quick look ahead to what is coming up at six. Rodents are taking over a mobile home park right here in Metro Detroit. What we found when we went inside and what happened when we got involved. You don't want to miss that. It's coming up at six for now. I'll send it back to you guys.